Hey guys, this is Andrew Keithley with US Aero Analytics. Today I wanted to show you how to upload your flight logs to Skywatch uh, to get your safety score and to get your discount. Um, you can just use the app, fly directly with the Skywatch app, but for a variety of reasons you may not want to do that, including for me, I use a Crystal Sky Monitor, which obviously can't really use the Skywatch app on that very easily. So I'll be doing a couple different methods. I don't have an iOS device, so I won't be able to demonstrate that, although I will include a link to a article from Skywatch on that, and I'll touch on it a little bit. But I'll be using my PC to grab the files directly from the Crystal Sky Monitor, and I'll be showing you how you can upload directly through the device that you use to fly as well. So first thing I'm going to do is to connect my monitor or device uh, to the computer with a USB cable, and then you notice under the notification section here, you have this USB connected touch to copy files to from your computer. Basically, you have to enable USB mass storage in order to view the files from the tablet on your PC. So next, I am at portal.skywatch.ai backslash flight logs. There's a link to that in the description below, but you can find it relatively easy just by Googling for it as well. And then you know we enter email address, and then we click Browse Files, which will open up a File Explorer window. So here we're going to go to uh, the device, which is for some reason called DJI. I guess that makes sense. And then in here, and this will be the same whether you're on a regular Android tablet or the Crystal Sky Monitor, you're looking for the folder labeled DJI. I use DJI Go version 4 to fly, so I'm going to click into the DJI Go version 4 uh, folder. And then in here, we are looking for this flight record folder. And all these text documents down here, flight record, oh, going all the way back to 2016, you need a minimum of five flight logs that are five minutes or longer for Skywatch to process them correctly. So you may want to select a bunch, you know, like 20, however many of these flight logs you want to select. Um, it doesn't really matter exactly, but you know, then just open them, they get uploaded, and we click send my flight logs. And that's essentially done there. So on your device that has the Skywatch app, you're going to go into the Skywatch app and wait for it to load. Then we're going to go into the little menu, the three bar drop down here. Let me brighten up my screen. Three bar drop down, my discounts. And then we have here at the very top, it says have a discount code, click here. Um, so after you send the flight logs to Skywatch, it usually takes about five minutes for them to process them and they'll send you back an email with a redemption code that you can just enter right there and you're good to go. Uh, a few notes would be that A, this only works with DJI flight logs. Drone Deploy, Pixel 4D, uh, Litchi, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Any of those other uh, programs you will need to manually send your flight logs to them. And you notice here, it says using other apps, contact support at skywatch.ai. So they will allow you just to send your flight logs from these other programs to them by email and they will help them get processed however things need to be changed. Um, so that's very, very nice. Another thing is that you can do this multiple times. So like right now, I am a gold level. I am at 85. I think I need two more points to become platinum. So I would probably want to just upload another group of flight logs uh, after I've flown some more and hopefully my score will improve. Just enter that redemption code again and it will get added to uh, this current safety score. It won't replace it. They'll average out between the safety score that I have and the new one that I'm bringing in. Okay, what if you want to just use your phone because you have internet and it's easier than having to hook it up to a computer. Under this My Discounts, you'll see actually here at the very bottom a link you click on that takes you to the exact same web page that we were using on the computer. Enter your email. After you click Browse Files, it'll take you to a file explorer just like what you have on the computer. 
This is Files by Google. It's just the default one that was on my phone. Your phone may or may not have a good uh, file explorer on it. If it doesn't, I would recommend Files by Google, but there's a bunch of other file managers that you can choose from and just download one from the App Store. First thing you need to do is go up to the three dot drop down menu, open it, and click Show Internal Storage because we're trying to get into system files, not just photos or videos. And then I would probably search for flight just to find, oh, I should spell it right, just to find the flight record folder and then click on that and voila. Obviously I don't use my phone to fly a lot so there's only one single uh, flight log on here. But you know, click select and you just select all of them or whatever. Click that and upload my flight log. Just like before, you are done. So what if you don't have an Android device? Uh, again, there is that article below that shows you how to use an iOS device. But essentially, if you have a PC and you need to get your flight logs off of your iPhone or iPad, you're going to probably need iTunes, um, which presumably you have that if you are an Apple person. If you are on a Mac, you may need iTunes, you may not, depends on how old your Mac is. But the same basic process is there. You have to get into the system files. You have to go to the DGI folder and then inside that, potentially DGI Go 4, and then flight records. And in the flight record folder is where your flight logs will be stored. So there we go.